Do not negotiate with temptation. Don't look at it in the eye and say, huh? You want a piece of me, huh? Hoo, hoo. Don't do that. When you see temptation, don't shout at it and say, no, no, get away from me. What you need to do is walk the other way. That's right, turn around and walk. Run if you can. Some of you may know that I managed to lose over 15 kilograms in the past year. I weighed over 106 kilograms. When I went to a certain place to weigh myself, I kept telling them, oh, it must be the shoes. Oh, it must be a recent illness. I could not believe the scale. The figures stared back at me like daunting monsters gripping away at my confidence, my self-esteem, everything that I had epitomized as beauty. This is how I managed to lose over 15 kilograms. I stared temptation in the face. I did not negotiate with it. I didn't scream at it. I just walked away, ran away, stared it down and said, not today. I spend most of my working hours for this temporary time in an educational institution where we have one of the most gifted chefs in the city. Elvis, if you're listening, Kajambo. Elvis will cook the best lasagna, chocolate pudding, pies, quiche. He cooks with so much splendor. He puts his heart into every ingredient. No wonder it was tempting. I would look at the meal and think to myself, if I jogged or walked for an hour, that would estimate about 300 cal calories lost. Maybe if I take just half a plate of mashed potato, add a bit of meat in it, and then, oh, the sandwiches, can't miss the sandwiches. And that's how it was day after day, negotiating with temptation. I knew my weakness. It was carbohydrates and sweets and sugars. When this journey began, and it's began countless of times, can I hear an amen from everyone who's had this journey of weight loss countless of times? I'm still going through it. When I began, and I can't really say the date or the time or the spontaneous moment, I walked up to the table, saw Elvis's lavish display of sumptuous food. I didn't negotiate. I just heaped vegetables. I took my fruit salad and I walked away. That's how it began day after day. I estimated if I can manage this for 21 days, which they say is the time to acquire a habit, then this is going to be a lifetime possibility. And it was. It started with one day when I walked away from that temptation. Now I'm a bit more carefree with my eating. I will take a bit of mashed potatoes. I will take the occasional sandwich. I exercise more, I take lots more fruit and water, but my mind is no longer trapped by the desire to consume every sugar and chocolate I take. No, because I learned to walk away. Don't negotiate with temptation. Don't say, no, get away from me. You just flee. Now that I've managed to control my eating habits, I am also in the space of controlling my finances, resources management. Soon I'll be able to repay all my debts, invest in real estate as I want, because it starts from here. Self-control. Everything is possible as God's word says, and he has given us the spirit of self-control. Let's claim it, it's ours. How much weight do you want to lose? How much money do you want to save? It's all possible. God bless you this April 2020.